And, uh, overnight, some of that uh, rain may have, uh, the, the dampness may have frozen on your sidewalk or your driveway. I know I almost slipped walking out to the car this morning. Granted, that was about six hours ago, so hopefully some of it has melted. Yeah, it is. You know, we are seeing some improving conditions out there, but I'd still be careful in parking lots, sideways, uh, sidewalks, driveways, looking at our East Providence camera, mostly cloudy skies. Right now we do have an intervals of clouds and sun in the forecast for the first half of the day today. 34 degrees now. Wind chills at 28, winds out of the west southwest with a combination of the sun being up, the temperatures gradually warming, the winds helping to dry out the pavement will lead to some improving conditions. So we'll uh, look for a quieter stretch ahead. There's no major winter storms on the way. In fact, a lot of melting in the next few days. We're looking at highs in the 40s, including for this afternoon. Right now, though, we're still in the 30s, 34 in Providence, 36 New Bedford, right at the freezing mark in Westerly, Willimantic and Smithfield both back up above the freezing mark now and the winds out of the southwest 5 to 10 miles per hour will pick up a little bit. We're looking at some wind gusts this afternoon, 20 to 25 miles per hour on the radar, though it's quiet and we'll stay that way this morning. We do have a slight chance for a flurry or a sprinkle at the end of the day today. Nothing that should cause any major trouble for you if you make your way home from work or school. So the system from yesterday. It's on the way out. This week, a little disturbance going across the area that today, and that's going to deliver a chance for a couple of snow showers in western New England. By the time they reach us in the late afternoon, 2-3 o'clock, you can see uh, both the uh, rain uh, the drops or snowflakes possible 40 degrees at four. So nothing that would stick to the roadways as that winds down in the early evening hours. The skies clear behind it and we're going to be seeing temperatures falling back through the 30s again tomorrow morning. So we'll be on the lookout for some melting and refreezing during the day and then nighttime hours. So heads up for that tomorrow morning. Tomorrow is a very mild day. The warmest of the work week up close to 50 degrees, upper 40s and more sunshine than today. But we do have another quick front that's going to come through and so tomorrow evening after the sun goes down and into the early part of the night could see a, another light rain shower behind that. It turns a little bit cooler for Thursday and Friday. Here's another look at the high temperatures today. Lower to middle 40s right on track for late February. These are near, near normal highs about 43 West Warwick and Providence 41 and Foster West Greenwich near 42 and lower to middle 40s for Fall River and New Bedford today. Taunt near 44 and Attleboro Seekonk can be around 43 degrees. We'll drop gradually through the 30s overnight tonight falling to about 33 or 34 degrees by dawn tomorrow morning in the seven day forecast upper 40s on Wednesday. Thursday is a sunny and brisk day low to mid 40s cooler Friday in the upper 30s. I like rain will last all day on Saturday, but our computer models are still a little different on whether the rain arrives in the morning or holds off until the afternoon. So plan on some rain and drizzle at least in the second half of the day on Saturday. Sunday looks dry and close to 50 WPRI.com for the updated forecast throughout the day today.